journey begins. All right, so here's a day of deep sea fishing. This actually took place on Valentine's Day weekend with a getaway with the Mississippi meet. Making our way down to Clearwater, or we actually stayed in the Tampa area, but I was fortunate enough to take a fishing trip out. Just giving you some quick shots here. I did notice uh, being down in this area that there were many, many good spots to fish from the shore. Just a little shot there from out on the boat, making our way out. Eventually, there's just a little snapshot of me, took a couple of pictures, you know, I guess a little vanity. But uh, we glasses had to try them out again. But uh, yeah, so we're making our way out. You see, now the shore is no more. And here's the action. I'm not used to having all this help on there. We're going to take a nap. Yeah, I'm going to swing out right behind you. Got a number on this one yet? No, we don't. What's this? Unless they're like. Guys, you A couple of tips for you if you do come and fish uh, clear water area, I would definitely say bring a rod or reel of your own that you really like. Kind of your big fish rod maybe that you would have. Not necessarily surf rod length, but just you know one with a strong rod, you know, strong reel combination, heavy line uh, type situation, maybe some braid. Um, I did see folks out there doing that and I think the extra sensitivity would help, you know, if you catch more. I would also say bring a leader with some red beads on it. I did notice that there was a guy at the back of the boat. He was being very productive early on, and I just kind of started studying what people were doing. And he had red beads, uh, like a regular leader with those red beads that you would use if you're fishing off of a pier. Um, so he had that action going on. And also, they provide squid on the boat. But I would also say you'd want to make sure that you bring some shrimp, as fresh as you could have it, uh, because a couple of the nicer fish that were caught we're actually caught on shrimp, so those are a couple of tips for you to take with you. Red grouper, gray grouper, pink grouper, second red grouper. Is that a grouper or a throwback? Throwback. Yeah, throwback. Throwback. Yeah, 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 thro
Even bigger. <laughs> I want to say. Hey, appropriate time to say, Larry, you're number one, you know? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I was talking too much junk to remember your number. Was it 77? 79. 79, yes, sir. You're going to have no fish at the end of the day. Yes, sir. One thing you'll learn when you go deep sea fishing is that the captain will pull up on a spot and fish that spot pretty good. Usually they have an idea of what kind of fish they're targeting at that particular spot. And if they're not getting a good amount or good sizes of that particular fish, typically they'll tell you to wind them up, and that's when you'll move to another spot. Uh, one cool thing about this particular um, outfit was that at the beginning they gave a bit of a tutorial and I think that's necessary because I think they were mentioning that there was a state law or something like that that made it where you could only use circle hooks on the deep sea charter and no longer could you use J hooks which allow you to get that hook set that you might be used to so be prepared for that just to wind up take out that tension and wait for the fish to kind of commit. I don't have the heart to tell him, but should I? Too big? Too big to pee? No. <laughs> he said no. Don't do that to him. That green's going to be by that crap. Guys and girls, when the captain calls today, all the rods will go in the back right corner. Anything you don't want to play, you can put it Nothing. Nothing. All right, family. So we didn't slay them per se, but we did pretty good. Um, there were some, a couple of snapper caught, I think they were called uh, pig fish, and they were a snapper family fish. Snapper season, red snapper season in general was closed. Um, what else was closed? All the other grouper and uh, some of the different varieties were closed. Um, but we did well considering, so I'm happy. And uh, we got fish for a couple of days. So until next time, be kind to the fish. <laughs>